Hi, my name is Patrick and this is Prep Mindful, your daily video practice in Mindful Test Prep. Coming at you today with a PSAT math question. This was question 8 from section 3, the No Calculator Math section. On the PSAT which was administered on Wednesday, November 2nd, 2016, pause the video! No seriously, why not pause it, take a crack at it yourself, and then when you're done you can unpause the video and watch the explanation. You know, learning. Could be good, because we're getting in there. It reads, 3x minus 9y equals 18. x plus 3y equals 18. They both equal 18. What are the odds? What is the solution x, y to the system of equations above? Now on the one hand, they gave us four options, and one of them has to work, so we could just try the answer choices. But I don't have a calculator, so I'd like to have a bit more elegant solution. For most systems of equations on the PSAT and SAT, the best method is going to be combination. You could substitute, right? You could have it so that it said x equals negative 3y plus 18 and then substitute that in for x in the other equation, but it's going to get kind of dicey. Instead, we can get like coefficients and combine the two equations to make one of the terms drop out. So what could we do here? Looks like if we were to multiply the whole bottom equation by 3, we would have 3x in both equations. So let's do it. So we distribute the 3. We got 3x plus 9y and then 18 times 3 is 54. So we've got these two equations now. Well, why don't we add them together? 3x plus 3x is 6x. 9y plus negative 9y is 0. Oh, next. Nice. So now we're only going to have an x term. And then 18 plus 54 is 72. So 6x equals 72. Divide both sides by 6, and x equals 12. Then we look at the answer choices, and there's only one option with an x value of 12. So the answer is b. We're done. I guess y is 2, but who cares? It's impossible to solve an equation with two variables. But two equations with the same two variables that's when you got a system on your hands. Find the common coefficient, combine them so that one of those variables drops out, and go from there. In this case, that was the only step we had to take, because once x equaled 12, the answer was clear, b. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, why not subscribe to our channel? Or if you have any questions about this problem or any others, feel free to hit me up in the comments below, or you can email me at prepmindful at gmail.com. In the meantime, my name is Patrick, and this has been Prep Mindful.